Okay, here we go. We're gonna make some changes to this uh, charger. Uh, this is a charger that you can buy uh, from AliExpress or Gearbest or Amazon. You know, uh, they're pretty standard chargers. There is uh, many different brands, I believe, and there's many different shops where you can buy it from. And they're usually used for e-bikes and some other batteries. And uh, the good thing is, is that um, they are uh, very a very standard box. Sometimes they, they can be bigger or smaller, more powerful or less. But the same um, uh, components inside are able to work on different, as you can see here, on different levels. So what we're going to do is we are going to open it and see how we can modify from one level to, to another in order to accommodate to a different battery than it was supposed to, to work with. This uh, one was uh, supposed to work with uh, uh, 13 cells in series of lithium power, which is uh, maximum voltage is 54.6 volts and as well it's got a power of 5 amps. Okay, so we're just gonna proceed to do so and go on. It's got a plastic uh, protector here in order to avoid uh, that the bore makes any uh, contacts with the metallic box outside. Uh, these have uh, two areas. One is the high voltage area, which is this area, which is actually, you can see this yellow line. That, and this is the low voltage area. In order to work with safety, we're going to cover this area with uh, some tape. Yes, in order to avoid that we touch it and we get a short circuit. Okay, so we're gonna see what's uh, inside first. Okay, here is the main entrance that goes to uh, this transformer with these capacitors with a uh, Okay, that uh, transform the um, alternate current to uh, continuous current in order to feed the, the charger, which is, this, which is this area. And this is the controller of the charger that I suppose that it's filled with this small transformer here. Uh, so as usually all the, all the specifications comes in, in Chinese, but uh, I usually write it down uh, what it is in it. This uh, in another language that I can understand because Chinese is not is not my my best language. So this is a very simple way how it works. Uh, it's a voltimeter that uh, reads up to from zero to one hundred volts, and it's fitted with a three to thirty volts. Okay, uh, which it means that uh, we have a black, which is a minus common for all of them. This is the red where we can feed them with, like I said, with 3 to 30 volts. Okay, and this is the uh, white, which is the positive. It will go to the positive that we want to measure in relation with this negative. Okay, so in this case, uh, with this charger, we're going to be working over 30 volts. So we need to fit it with uh, something lower than 50 volts. Okay, so we are uh, fitting the, like I said, connected to positive and negative. In this case, this is an 11 volts battery. Okay. And we are filling it black with black, red with red, and we can, you see it's marking zero, 0 because there is no any voltage in the white, uh, in the white cable, okay? If we put it here on the white cable, then it will give us, you know, the voltage of the battery, which in this case is 11.5, okay? And actually we can check if it's uh, quite uh, accurate. So we're going to use our multimeter, okay? Because uh, I noticed that it's got a little pot here in the back. You can see it here. That it's probably to adjust it uh, if it's necessary. So this battery, it's... Uh, okay, let me see if we can put it here. You can see it. Here. Yeah. So the battery is at... Uh, 
11.448. So it was giving us before uh, 11.4, 11.5, which is perfect. Okay. 11.5, which is perfect. Okay. It's very accurate and enough. So I want to install this uh, voltage, this voltimeter, because uh, as I'm going to um, modify the voltage on this charger or probably leave it open so uh, we can see in real time what is the, the output voltage of the, of, the, of the charger. As well, while charging, it's going to give us the voltage of the, of the battery while the charger is, uh, is working. Uh, we need to find in the charger um, one place where we can get between 3 to 30 volts to 30, yes, 3 to 30 volts uh, in order to feed this uh, volt meter. Okay, so we can ma uh, make it work. Okay, so let's proceed to try to find uh, that thing in the charger. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure from this uh, control board here that it's fitted with uh, 5 or maybe 12 volts. So with those 5 or 12 volts, we can fit the voltmeter. So we're going to try to find now um, uh, where is that 5 or 12 volts, if, if it is, in order to, to find out that. Okay, so we're going to connect the, the, the charger to the mains. Okay, let's see first. Okay, we've got... Uh, uh, negative is this one goes here and this is positive. Okay, so here we go. This it connects with uh, this main thing. Okay, it's on. Okay, here this is the this 12 volt it's the the perfect one to feed the uh, voltmeter okay so we're gonna weld right now the cable in order to have a, a, a fitting for the voltmeter and we can keep on working on it What do you think? Now we already we have a output voltmeter that it's uh, giving us the value of the charging voltage, which is great. So now we can just work on the pots here to see what happens. Okay, and I almost get short circuit. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna proceed to see well where we can put this. Maybe in the outside. Maybe. In the inside with uh, some kind of uh, holes and as well I want uh, to have access to these pots from the outside so I'm gonna make some holes here in order to be able to modify whatever when I want to okay so let's proceed to take measurements and go ahead So here are the two holes just to access from the outside to directly to the two pots in order to work without opening it. So let's check if they are in the right positions. They look so, but let's check. Okay, let's put it in like we did before. And they don't, not even by far. Oh, we did it really, we did it 
did them really wrong. I don't know if you can see, but they are not there. They are very far away up there. So we're going to make more holes in order to make it fit. You know, always measure twice and cut once. Okay. New holes. Yes. Now, as you can see, they are perfectly accessible from the outside. I decided to install the bolt meter outside of the box. So now we're going to take measurements of the part and design the part and then 3D print it. We already have the printed part here, okay, for the pulse meter, and we're gonna try if it fits, okay. Yeah, a bit tough, like expected. I had to cut a little bit here of the part in order to give a space for the for the cable that I forgot to do it on the on the design. Anyway, uh, I modified the design so it's it's easy. You can you can download it from. A link uh, on the description. Time of uh, testing and, and tuning. Okay, so have it ready. Like I said, there is two pots. One is for voltage and the other one is for amperage. Okay, so if we turn around the voltage pot, okay, it can go up and or down. Okay, so uh, there's uh, certain limits that uh, you cannot uh, go over on the going on the low voltage and the high voltage. On low, I think we can go probably down to 50 or something like that. Yeah, 50. Uh, yeah, it start to trip in here. So around 50, 49, 50 is the low value for this charger, and the high value of charging. Maybe something like 60, a bit less, okay, so 55. So from 50, 50, 55, you can change this controller to charge different kind of battery. Uh, I'm going to connect it now to a um, 13S battery, which is uh, 54.6, the charging value. So we're going to put it there. Yeah. Okay, so 54.6 is the top value of the battery to be charged. And now uh, I'm going to connect it to the battery so we can see here in this amp meter how much it's taking. Now it's zero, okay, more or less. So let's connect it. Now it's connecting and start to charge. It will start to charge slowly, then ramp up. Okay, five amps, which is the nominal current for this uh, charger. So now we can tweak the amperage. Okay, so we go to the second pot, which is this one here. Okay, so we want one way. It goes down. Yeah. Well, five is, let's say, the nominal value. It doesn't go down under five. It's 
4.9 so we can go to the other side okay goes up to seven yeah so from five six seven amps okay <clears throat> so we can trip this charger up to seven amps that's quite a lot so that means that uh, we have um, the charger cooling system may not cope with seven amps so we can we can trip it down a little bit let's say to something like six amps or i can improve the cooling of the system yeah these spots are very sensible I can leave it like that like 5.8 which is quite a lot <clears throat> but I would like to charge as fast as possible so what I'm gonna do is to put it to the maximum and see how can I uh, improve the cooling system of the charger the idea to uh, make it more uh, cooling efficient it's uh, quite simple I'm gonna just take off this plastic part here so giving an open area so the, the air can come in here easily and just uh, cover it with this uh, standard uh, fan uh, protector and in the other side it's got some holes in order to take out the air just gonna make uh, these holes uh, slightly larger so we can have more airflow and it will cool better and faster. finished I added the I made a hole here for the ventilator so we can increase the amount of flow and made a hose bigger here so there's more airflow now we can cope with more amperage that we did before so and this is the end we finished with a more powerful charger that we can adjust to diff for different batteries and it can charge faster the batteries than before. Hope you like it.